The answer is yes, you can. To demonstrate, we're going to use the new Air Portable Mini Dryer. Here are the parts you'll need. You can find an indoor venting kit at your neighborhood hardware store. First attach the joint that comes with the mini dryer. Make sure to use the round one, not the oval one. Attach the joint to the back of the dryer, positioning it in the direction you want the duct to go, lining up the holes for the screws. Screw in the screws using a Phillips head screwdriver. Although there are a number of holes, only three screws are necessary. Next, take your dryer venting duct, also available at your neighborhood hardware store. Make sure the duct is three inches in diameter. Cut it to the length you want based on where you want it. If you have a flexible duct, you will need wire cutters. If your duct is aluminum, stretch out one end. Use scissors to make three evenly spaced cuts. Fit the duct over the end of the joint and tape it into place. Use your HVAC sealing tape or foil tape, not duct tape. Sometimes the duct on the venting kit may be a different size than the duct for your dryer. This is easily solved by a duct increaser. Repeat the steps of cutting one end of the aluminum duct. Fit it onto the increaser and tape it down. Flex duct is usually large enough to fit without cutting. Tape it down as well. Fit the duct to the opening on the lid. Secure it in place using the clamp. Add a little water to the venting kit to help trap lint particles. And close the lid, snapping it into place. Every so often, clean out the lint. You can also get a window venting kit if you want to vent it outside. And voila, that's it. You're done.